this tutorial, I'll show you how I render my 3D clothes in Keyshot. I'll start by exporting this hoodie I made from Marvelous Designer, and then set up the light and materials in Keyshot. So the first thing you need to do before exporting your clothes from Marvelous Designer is to make sure that you name all the pattern pieces with a name that's easy to recognize. And especially that you name all your materials. Otherwise, it will be a terrible mess when you get to rendering either in Keyshot or in Octane Render or in any other render engine that you use. If you're not sure if you named all the pattern pieces with the correct name, just check in your scene menu and they should all be named properly. If you see something like pattern underscore and a number, then you know that you haven't named something and you just click on it and then you name it properly. As you can see, I've added another 3D zipper as another avatar. So here under avatars, you can see it, and it first came in with some weird name, so I made sure to rename that and all the parts inside, so I can find it without confusion. Alright, so now let's export this. I'll go File, Export, OBJ, and then I name it. I like to put the units that I export in, so I remember what units it was in, and then I'm going to say Save. Now I'm not going to select all the avatars because I don't need the woman. Though in fact, let's export it with her so I can show you how to hide her. And of course I'm going to select all the patterns. I'm going to select multiple objects, thick. And I'm not going to select unified UV coordinates, centimeters, save with texture files, and also diffuse color combined on texture. Because this color originally I think was a pink of this texture, and then I changed the color in Marvelous. But if you don't say diffuse color combined on texture, it's going to export the original color, which is the pink, and then we'll have to change the color in Keyshot. I'll show you how to do that as well, but I'll also save one version of diffuse color combined on texture. Okay. And here we can see the zip that we just exported. So I'm going to right click, extract to hoodie one, modified zipper, etc. And then they ask me to confirm replace. I'm going to say rename all, because why it's asking me that is that MD saved out the original texture and then it saved out with the same name a texture with the diffuse color combined in it. So I'm going to say rename all, not skip or replace. And here we go. This is the original texture. And then here we've got a whole bunch of versions with different brightness and lightness and darkness in them. And our zippers and our avatar. Alright, so now in Keyshot I'm going, to, I'm going to say Import Model, navigate to my folder, and double-click the OBJ. Keep original centimeters, and I don't say keep individual parts, otherwise, otherwise I get endless fingernails and parts like that. Import. And there she is. You can zoom up using our mouse wheel, pan around using the left mouse button, and drag using the middle mouse wheel. I want to separate her into a separate group so that I can apply a different material to her, like a plastic, or hide her entirely. So I'm going to open this up here, and it starts here, her body parts up to here. So I'll select that, holding down shift and clicking on the last one, then right click, add to group, new group, model, or avatar, OK, and then OK. And there she is in our new group, and now we can hide her if we want to. Or we could apply some kind of a plastic onto the whole group, and then she turns into a plastic. And if we double click that, we can even change the color. I want to hide her entirely, so I'm going to click this thing here, collapse it, and she's gone. I think the zipper puller went into the model group, so I'm just going to show her. And I think it is this one here. Yes, so that has to go out of that group and into this group, I'll just drop it here, continue, and then we can hide her and still have that zipper there. Now this part of the zipper is a separate pattern than this closed zipper, and the reason for that is because I cut out the background so that it can look like it's open, but in Keyshot it didn't bring it in with a transparent background. In fact, anything that you bring in for Marvelous, which is a PNG and in Marvelous, has a transparent background. By default, it does not have that in Keyshot. So I'm going to double click on this material here. You can see that's the open zipper. Go to Textures, and in Opacity, I'm going to double click. 
go to my recent folder and then I'm going to load in this zipper and instead of color I'm going to set it to be alpha and it's not behaving like I want it to because it's set to box map and I'll set it to UV coordinates you can see this is UV co coordinates, this is UV coordinates now it's still not behaving itself here it's set to sync but in the color it's not set to sync so we say so if we set it to sync then now it's synced up and now we can see it has a transparent background and there we can see now it has a transparent background now if you want to change the color of your textures just double click on it and there you can say blend with color and it will blend best if it's a light color not like a dark blue to begin with so we could click this icon here to load up the original texture which is a pink and there you can see it's much easier to change the color and I actually like the orange better than the blue so I'm going to shift and left mouse click on this texture here then shift right mouse click here to apply it and also to this little strip around there and to this part of the hood and for the inside one I want it to be a darker version of this orange so I'm going to double click on it and load in that pink again and if you want to get it exactly the same um, hue you could just drag this yellow into your um, color, color palette here and then when we go back to this fabric, we could apply that yellow. And then go and make it a bit darker. And then I'm going to shift left click on this one and shift right click there to make the inner hoodie part a bit darker. Now because it has thickness, the side is actually a separate material. So I'm going to shift and right mouse click on that to apply the fabric too now as for the bottom part here I'm going to double click that and then load in my pink version and then blend it with that yellow color again and change that yellow color a bit as well Now as for these strips, I think they should be an orange too, so I'll double click on one and because they have the same fabric applied in Marvelous, they have it here too applied. And then let's select that yellow and then go to some orange. We can also use the color picker to pick a matching color. Something like that I think is nice. Now for these edges here, these closures, I want them to look more shiny, so I'm going to raise the speckler. Now to make everything look a bit more realistic, I'm going to make a normal map from this fabric here and also one for the zipper. So I'm using shader map. There are a few free ones that you can use online to create maps. I like shader map, it's quite easy to use and makes nice maps. But if you don't want to buy it, I have some links in the description for free map makers. So I'm going to click this button here and then load in my pink texture and let's look at it on a flat thing and I think it came out quite well even straight out of the box so I'm going to save just the normal map hit the save button then go back into Keyshot double click on my fabric go into textures bump double click that and bring in my normal map and tell it that it's a normal map. Make sure it's synced and the color one is synced too. And then back in shader map, I'm going to make a new project and bring in my zipper. And something like that looks nice, I think. So I'm going to save the normal map and then double click on my zipper, textures, bump and bring in my normal map set that to be a normal map 
and make sure it's synced. And that just gives it a tiny bit more three-dimensionality. We can also increase the bump height if we want to make it more intense. You can see without it it's much flatter and with it it's just a bit more rounded. Now these didn't have the bump applied to them, these inner materials, so I'm going to select those and just load in the bump as well. Normal map. And make sure that if your texture is set to UV coordinates, your bump is also set to UV coordinates. Sync. Sync. Alright. Then as for this texture down here, I'm also going to load in a bump. Sync, and it's a normal map, and to UV coordinates, and sync. Now sometimes the normal map makes the fabric a bit darker, so I think I'm going to make the color here a touch lighter. Now another thing we can do to the zipper to make it look a bit more metallic is to add a specular color. So if I add a bit of a specular, you can see here where the light hits it, it's shining. Almost like a plasticky kind of zipper. And I think that makes it look a bit more real. Now as for these metal ends, I think I'm going to change the color a bit. We can also click on the zipper here, double click on it to change the color. We could make it an orange zipper if we wanted to, but I think I'll leave it at a kind of grey. A bit darker maybe so it fits the zipper a bit more. And we could change if we didn't want the specular. Now comes the fun part of changing the lighting. So I'm going to go into environment. And you can go into the environment tab here, and there are all kinds of presets which you can apply, HDR environments, and then use the rotation to rotate around, and brightness, contrast, to control how bright or how dark it is, and height, to move it up or down. I prefer to make my own environments using HDR Light Studio, though sometimes I do use a preset to save some time, but more often than not I find it easier to control the lighting in HDR Light Studio. So I'm going to go Edit HDR, HDR Light Studio, and that's going to open up my HDR Light Studio. And I'll move this a bit here. Whoops. And then I'm going to add a box light, and you can see it update here. I'm going to make it bigger. And I'm going to duplicate it and move it over to the other side and just play with the lighting until I get the result I want. And then once you've got your light set up in HDR Light Studio, you can just close it or you can render, but even if you just close it, the HDR will be in here. But it's best to render it and save it out. And then you can play with rotating the environment, the height, the size, the brightness, the contrast, to get the result that you want. I'm going to set the background to color, and leave it at white, and let that render out. One last thing, I'm going to make this zipper a bit smaller, I think it's a bit too big. So let's find, that was this one here, I should call that zipper puller. And then in position, I'm going to scale it down to Point 0.8 and there it is, it's not where it's supposed to be, so let's take our move tool oh. and there we go, now it's a bit smaller, I think it looks better Turn off performance mode. And here we go after rendering it for a few minutes. And of course you're going to get different results depending what kind of lighting that you use. And here's just one more example where I put a grey fabric on it 
and a different zipper puller and mostly the environment is different and I think it actually looks better than the HDR environment I created. This is just the default one that you can find here and I rotated it, changed the height a bit, the brightness, contrast and I think that looks quite nice. So I hope this tutorial helps you getting started with rendering clothes in Keyshot and see you in the next tutorials.